yesterday we completed the Kayatlan 10k. Of course, Celine did a far better time than I did. And, um, but that's to be expected. Uh, kilo for kilo, she's a far better runner than I am. Um, but today we're out for, uh, I suppose what you'd call a recovery run. And just wanted to do a quick little video on what's involved in a recovery run and how you should be looking to pace it and target it. So the reason that we do recovery runs are twofold. Some people talk about getting lactic acid out of your muscles, but I think the science at this stage uh, has debunked that. Uh, what we're really looking to do is to increase our endurance. And you know, the way to do that is to get more mileage in in the week. As we look to increase our mileage each week, it builds up our endurance and that's a key way that we get fit but we have to do that in a structured way so easy days like this or recovery runs it's all about keeping things really really easy again if you go back to my previous videos you can use a power meter you can use your heart rate you can do perceived exertion and this really is in the three four um you know heart rate power zones you want to be in zone one zone two these are great sessions for building your form and improve your form the three cues that i give people in my running classes always are to stay light and quiet so listen to your feet on the road they shouldn't be heavy uh, to stay tall and proud and the last one is to keep your cadence relatively high we go into more detail on all of those and um, would follow on videos but they're the three cues again so light and quiet tall and proud and keeping your cadence high so these really steep bits when you're out for these easy runs rest day runs party pace runs call them what you want um, when you get to the steep bits walk unless you're insanely fit or have a fantastic bmi um, and the reason is i'm looking down at my watch here and looking at the power and even as i'm walking up here i'm putting out about 240 watts so that's firmly putting me into zone one low and zone two in terms of my power output and um, so that's exactly where we should be targeting if i tried to run this it'd be very quickly into zone five and if you're running naked and by naked i mean <laughs> by naked celine's laughing alongside me here by naked i mean you're not wearing a gps tracking device heart rate monitor power meter etc um one of the ways that you can really tell if you're in that nice easy pace is if, can you have a conversation so if you're like myself and celine and you're out here this morning you can have a nice chat all right celine <laughs> um, but otherwise um, some people say if you're on your own, can you recite, you know, a stanza of poetry? Can you say a prayer? Depending on what you want, but you should be able to keep a nice easy pace. Not just one sentence or one word answers. This should be nice and relaxed. So as part of our recovery session this morning here, we're just coming down to a cool little beach here called Tralespeen. And this was largely shaped by the tsunami that hit uh, West Cork about 250 years ago after the earthquake in Portugal. And um, it's a really, really cool place. You swing around there and you get a, a sense of what it looks like. Um, but it's a beautiful bay. And as I come back around here, you can see um, part of where the tsunami washed up. Um, I think about a half a kilometer inland it went and it really shaped the topography of the area here as a result. And the other thing I would say on recovery day runs is that if you get to a nice spot like this, you know, don't be afraid to sit down for five minutes. Uh, don't get too cold. Uh, you don't want to seize up, but don't be afraid to sit down, uh, enjoy the view and uh, just enjoy uh, your morning out. So just give you a glance of what we're looking out on here. Uh, beautiful bay behind me and lovely spot. 